Look what just arrived. I got a pre-release copy of this. Magicians, Martyrs, and Mad Men's Tarot by Travis McHenry. This is the mass market version. That he did have a Kickstarter. I was not part of that Kickstarter, but I did get the mass market version. A celebration of the macabre and the miraculous from Rockpool it includes 80 cards in a guidebook. We did have Travis McHenry on this show for a uh, for an interview. And he was very gracious to do that for me. Thank you again, Travis, if you're watching this. Uh, but yeah, pretty excited to see this. Even if it is mass market, I still like it. I did support his other, uh, two others of his Kickstarters. So, but yeah. Anyway, look at that. That is so pretty. Just the reflections off of the box. And this is a large box too. This is no joke. So you get a standard box. And then you compare it with this large box. So, yeah, very nice. All right, it comes with a beautiful book. Look at this full-color book. Wow. Look at how much text you get for the miners. Normally, people skimp on the miners. You don't get a ton of text, but him, he gives us lots and lots of text. Very nice. So, you get not only a... Uh, so, you get the person on there and then you uh, get a little translation of that over here and then for the majors you get a lot as well so beautiful man really nice really beautiful book i really like a good book uh but yeah about the there you go there's travis and me henry all right so let's take a look at this wonderful deck i can't wait a lot of you probably already have it from the kickstarter if you do again this is the mass market version, but I think they did a great job on this. Yeah, this is really sturdy cardboard, too. That's a pet peeve of mine when basically this is made of, like, really cheap-ass cardboard, and then in a month, your deck doesn't fit anymore. Obviously, this is the back of the car. And here we have the front. So, yeah, very nice. You got James Douglas... Uh, the Magician, you got Mary, Harry Houdini, uh, you got Donner Party. So, yeah, let's check these out. Zoom in a little bit and uh, check out Magicians, Martyrs, and Mad Men. The Fool, uh, James Douglas, holding a hand. All righty. Uh, card quality is pretty good. Doesn't move a lot. Uh, I do like... The card quality. I like it. It's not like over shiny. So it has a little gloss, but it's not like really thick gloss. So there we go. We have a Johanna George um, Faust, I guess. The Magician. Then we have a uh, Marie. There we go. Is the High Priestess. We got uh, Elizabeth. Not even going to pronounce that. Try to pronounce that as the Empress. And we got Nero. There we go. As the Emperor. Well done there. I did have Nero CD back in the day when you write DVDs. There was a, a DVD writing software called Nero. And that was kind of the de facto standard back in the, the olden days. All right. Got the Hierophant. Very cool looking. And then we have the uh, the lovers. Nice. We have the lovers, male, female, or female, female. Here we go. Evita and Juan Peron. We have male, male. Lovers as well. With the nice honky chest hairs going on there. And we have the chariot. Strength card. Woo, that's cool. Almost like a, um, almost like a werewolf. Here, Edward Kelly for the Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. We have John D. Uh, who is that on the cover? If I could find the box lid. Is that there? We go. He's on the cover there. There we go. I knew I recognized that from somewhere. Wheel of Fortune. Get the Justice card. Matthew Hopkins. Hanged Man. Oh, Jesus. Getting shot up over there. We have From Hell Death card. Jack the Ripper. 
Indeed. There's a couple of good magic tricks with Jack the Ripper. Angeline Tubbs as Temperance. That'd make a good painting. Obviously, I believe that probably is a painting, but for me, painting it would be kind of interesting. The Devil. Delphine. Uh, the Star, Mary. With the Moon, Rasputin. Uh, judgment with the E, the Bender family. I guess burying somebody over there. We have the world with Crowley. <laughs> you know, you had to put Crowley in there somewhere. Do we got Crowley on the on the lid here? Ah, oh, that is a shame. That is a shame to not have Crowley. Wow, he still has mountains that he climbed. Uh, that have not been traversed since. So he said, I think one, was it one mountain that he climbed that still hasn't had the record broken? I believe, I believe. We have Agatha as the Ace of Cups. We got the Two of Cups as Katharina. We have the Three of Cups. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. A Four of Cups is Mesmer. <laughs> Is Mesmer? That's hilarious. There are. Um, was Mesmer the one that had did the baths? Oh, I gotta look now. Um, I'm a big fan of hypnosis, and there was a one of the people from uh, hypnosis that actually would uh, tell people to take baths and they're naked, and he would get in the baths with them uh, when he was naked too. Physician interested in astronomy theory, animal magnetism. Tipped to cure various afflictions by placing magnets on... No. Called a baquet. Parents danced around a bucket full of liquid. Metal rods stuck to it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there was someone who, um, who basically would invite uh, people to, into a bath. And then they would obviously have to be naked. And he would get in there naked with them. <laughs> and he would cure them that way. And that was uh, that was what that was one of my hypnosis books. I thought it was kind of funny. I mean, hey, you know, uh, get in the bath with me, and I'll cure you of all your afflictions. You know what I'm saying? I got the metal rod right here. Uh, we got Nicholas over here. We got Agnes. I guess throw Mama from the train. I don't know what's going on with that. Obviously, that's contained within the book. Harry Houdini. There we go. It's good to see some real magicians in here. Thomas Baker. Oh, my. Alexander Pierce. Uh, there we go. Frederick Sante. Mm, okay. Got a Nine of Cups. Got a Queen. Edward Teach is the King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Liviana Fisher. DeBar is the Two of Pentacles. Uh, Christoph Heisman is the Three, the Four Sixty. And the five is the Donner Party. Six is Wayne Onkers. Seven, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. The eight, okay. Uh, Don Pedro. Helen Duncan is the 10, and Mathers as the page. Knight, Queen, and King. All right, the swords, head on a stick. Thomas More is the Two of Swords. 
head on the floor. Ivan the Terrible is the three. We got Kelpius is the four. We got that five of swords over there with lots of swords in there. And a six, the Titanic. We got lots of stabbing. Seven of swords as you're trying to get away. Eight of swords over there as you're not. And the nine of swords is the werewolf. A ten, Bridget Bishop. Page is Chief Leather Lips. Got a knight, a queen, and a king, Richard the Third, an ace, a two, a three, a four, Nicholas the Second. The Five of Wands, the Six, Nostradamus, is he on here? No. Nostradamus should be on the cover. There's Charles as the Seven, the Eight is Saint Sebastian, Nine is Grandier. Margaret Aiken is a 10. Touche is the page. Joan of Arc is the Knight of Wands. The Queen is Lenormand. And the King is Dracula himself. Very nice indeed. Man, really nice deck. Travis McHenry does it again. Beautiful deck. Love the book. I mean, you kind of have to have the book to get the um, the linkage between a uh, character and why they are there. But Travis McHenry obviously goes into exhaustive detail with all of his stuff. Yeah, so he's a scribe and an alchemist. The Philosopher's Stone granting him prolonged life. Uh, and it talks about the Six of Cups as a card, collecting memories, remembers things from the past. This picture on the card is surrounded by the glasses. So he talks about the symbolism, why this person's there, how they relate to the card and whatnot. Traditional Travis McHenry, very well documented uh, within everything. The book is nice. I've already broken the spine. It's not coming apart. It's, it's in there firmly. Um, so you don't have the usual problems you have with some of these other companies. So Rockpool does it again. Does a nice job here. Um, and yeah, really cool deck. And this is going to be one of those ones where you, you know, if you're into especially this kind of thing, you're going to really dive into it. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun. Very nice indeed. Harry Houdini is the Seven of Cups. Uh... That's president from, yeah, until death, Society of the American Magicians. Uh, but yeah, those indicates visions of the future may not come to fruition, what have you, right? All right, beautiful deck, beautiful documentation. Travis McHenry does it again. I'm sorry that I did not back his Kickstarter, but I'm very happy to have this in my hands. I will be going through this book with a fine tooth comb, memorizing everything. We gotta use it on the stream. Perfect, perfect timing for Halloween. You know I'm in love with all projects from Travis and this is another winner. Beautiful artwork, like beautiful artwork. Look at that, takes up the whole card. You have that eerie feel in every card. He really kind of captures the mood. So, absolute win for me. Let me know what you think about Magicians, Martyrs, and Madmen's Tarot. The 
Mass Market Edition. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.